Okay, guys, here is your fight recap for the UFC Dos Santos versus Velasquez live on Fox. Uh, started off on Facebook with Aaron versus Lucas. Uh, not a bad heavyweight fight. You know, I, I harp on heavyweights a lot for being boring. Um, this is the first time I've seen a, uh, a point deducted for uh, spitting the mouthpiece out because Lucas just kept getting tired spitting it out so that he could go in the corner and take a quick nap, come back and fight. Uh, and then uh, in between a round, Lucas's coach poured water into his cup, which I thought was sufficiently awkward for Facebook to air that. Anyways, um, not a bad fight. I think uh, Lucas took that by decision. Uh, Mike Pierce in his rematch versus Bradley, he won again. It was a pretty good fight, you know, for one that goes to decision. Uh, moving on, Cole Escovedo versus Alex Caceres. That was a good fight. Uh, I think that probably got maybe runner-up for fight of the night or could have got fight of the night. Um, it went everywhere, and Bruce Leroy definitely earned his win. Okay, Mackins Samitzier versus Robert per Peralalta. I don't know how to pronounce that. A very controversial fight. They went back and forth until uh, Peralta KO'd McKenzie McKenzie with a, a headbutt. Uh, so the headbutt like knocked him down and rocked him, and he finished him with strikes. So he was given the victory, but that could be changed to a no contest if it's ruled accidental, or even a DQ if it, you know, there's evidence that he did it on purpose, which I doubt it. Um, Demarcus Johnson versus Clay Harvison. That was a nice 20 second fight for Demarcus to just one punch KO the dude, and then celebrate, and then the ref's like, "You gonna finish him?" And he's like, "Okay, I'll hit him again." Bam. Okay, game over. Go home. Go to Taco Bell. Get a snack or something. Uh, Cub Swanson versus Ricardo Lamas. I definitely wanted Cub to win that. I thought he would win that. I was wrong. Uh, Lamas knocked out a uh, round two submission. Ben Henderson versus Clay Guida. Probably got fight of the night. Amazing three-round fight. I knew these guys would go to decision. Uh, I definitely voted for Ben to win, and he came out with uh, with the decision victory. Uh, incredible fight. All the fans were very happy about that. I wish they would have aired that on Fox. Uh, moving on to Fox. Fox was terrible. Uh, somehow the UFC now has to share intro music with Monday Night Football. Not very happy about that. And then they gave Brock Lesnar a mic. They don't need to give Brock Lesnar a mic. He's, he's stupid. He's terrible for the sport. And as your Christmas present, YouTube, I'm going to give you a video bashing that guy because he's stupid and he needs it. Sorry about the text message. So, anyways, moving on to the final uh, fight of the night, the main event. We got to watch 48 minutes of uh, hype, hyping up the fight from Fox, and then it was a one-minute fight. I, I <laughs> would have much rather like paid for a pay-per-view and got to watch straight fighting because I already watched the hype. I've, I've watched that for weeks now. It's been on UFC.com. Why do I need to see it again on Fox? That's just boring. Anyways, they kind of went back and forth a little bit, and then Kane just, I mean, kind of stood there, didn't really keep his distance as much as he should had. Dos Santos threw one really good right hook, caught him, and that was the end of the fight. Um, anyways, Fox, you know, it's nice that it's free. Um, I just really, really hope this isn't what the future holds for the UFC. I do not... I do not want to come fight night and just watch a bunch of previews and commercials for Bud Light and then finally get to see the fight that's only 30 seconds, maybe two rounds, uh, something terrible like that. Anyways, let me know what you guys think and get back at me.